Yo, what's up, everyone? It's your boy. In today's video, we're gonna be doing Draco Pals. So if you love Draco Pals, smash the subscribe button, boys. Smash the like button. And let's get started on today's video. This video is gonna be a half guest upload from my boy, Usman. And the other half will be my version of Draco Pal. My version is a little bit different, so I want to give you guys both options of this classic legacy Draco Pal deck. So stay tuned to the end of the video check out mine. And don't forget to smash the subscribe button, not just my channel, but my boy's channel down below, the Titan of Draco Slayers himself, Uzman. Go check that out. And lastly, before we get into the video, consider getting the most beautiful playmat of all time. Luster Pendulum will be proud. The Tune Electromite Cloth Playmat. Get yours right now down in the description on tripgaming.com. Sign up on Pendulum Training. And with that being said, let's get straight into the video. I'm telling you guys right now, after you see this Draco Pal video, after you see the Draco Pal video, you two yourself will be playing the best deck, Draco Pal. Let's go, baby! Let's go! So, three card combo is Pen Called Aqua. And any high skill, but in this case, I'm going to use Morpheus Lettery because it's the best one you want. And yeah, three card combos aren't very optimal. However, dual slime search is this, and Dragon Triumph Foolish or Odd Eyes Revolution search this, as well as like Odd Eyes searching Lechery as well. So it's not that hard to get into. So let's get it started. Go Pentacle Darkworm, searching Harmonizing and White Wing. Then you summon the Darkworm, use the effect to add gate zero. Then you normal the White Wing, link into Halloween Fibrex. Halogy Firebrex will then summon Effect Failure. And this is where you scale your Zero and your Lechery. So you link into our girl Selene. Now Selene will count the amount of spells on the field in the graveyard. So one, two, and three. And then you remove three counters, summon Vela back. Now is the only time they can Nibiru you. If they don't, you just make up loser anyway. So now you can't be Nibiru before your Pendulum Summon, which was a massive issue when I was testing to get the deck before. Now you just pendulum three, these two and this. Use this effect. Summon poison. Now you wanna sync these two. This gets banished for Borrow Savage. Use Savage Effect to equip Celine. And then sync these two. This gets banished as well. Into Ignesta. Then use Ignister Effect to summon Lost Pendulum. Now, this can't be used as a Synchro material. Um, uh, on a video on my channel, I didn't realize that. Shout out to Zach Bell for telling me that. So, just link this into LP. Then LP Effect summons Glide from the deck. So now you have two negates of Appalooza, an Omni Negate, no spells, so you can't be Dark Ruler Nomad or Lightning Stormed. And this has no extra deck. And this is here to make sure your opponent can't kill you next turn. So that's the deck. Thank you very much to Trip for letting me upload. If anyone has any suggestions, I'm happy to I'm happy to read all of them. And yeah, that's it. Hey guys, here to profile a Drake Slam Edition deck. Um, and I've got a really cool D-card combo to show you afterwards. So here it is. Three Luster and two Vector. So in this build, with Rescue Rabbit's not needed because I'm not playing Ut uh, Utopia Double. However, if I get hold of the Starlight Rare Utopia, then I might dabble in that. But at the moment, this ratio is fine. And then for the Magicians, 3 Harmo, 2 Poison, and the Black Fang. So this is standard, but the two techs I have are White Wing Magician. So this helps you go into Needle Fiber to not do super degenerate plays, but helps you go into Appalooza before your Pendulum Summon so you avoid Nibiru. And this can be special, uh, this can be Pendulum from the extra deck, so, uh, which Harmonizing can't. So it adds to more players after you link off with it. So this ratio is good. And then Turbo cards, 3 Razor, 3 Dark Worm. And Razor is good because the 3 card combo requires any high skill. And obviously it's an extender and Dark Worm self explanatory. Then 1 0 to go with it. And then for something I hold near and dear to my heart, shouts to Alex Bergeron and Ben Robinson for helping me win my first regional. So essentially, uh, three Morphage Lechery and one Goliath. So Lechery and Scale, if you control a Morphage monster, neither player can activate spells that aren't a Morphage card. So, and then you summon this off LP. 
and then you have a, an Imperial Order, and because of the next card being Allied Revolution Dragon, you can search this and almost any other card in your deck, which is really, really good. And it's not once per turn, which I, I recently found out, and this deck's getting a lot of consistency just for one set. And then Veiler to go with a combo, which I'll show afterwards. For spells, 3 Pen Call, 2 Dose Lions, 1 Shrine, 1 Foolish, just for space. Might bump this up more, but we'll see with the ratios and testing. Then 3 Call By, and then face off. Please bring this back to 3. And for the extra deck, as Needle Fiber, Selene for the combo. Got LP and Pisty, Seal, Appalooza, Me, Access, Boral Sword, Ignister, Boral, Slow Savage, Dugaris, Dweller, Exton, and Tornado. So, with the extra deck, there's a lot of going first options, like these guys, but there are a lot of going second options as well. So, if you're forced to go, well, if you're forced to go second, then you just have these just in case. If your opponent makes an unbreakable board, you're not winning. You're not breaking through it because you don't main Dark Ruler no more. However, just having the options there is, is always just really good. And for the... Let's go! Thank you very much, Usmash, for showcasing your deck. Everyone go subscribe to the channel down below. And now I'm going to showcase to you guys my uh, version of, of Draco Pile, which has a big emphasis on the Performer Pile engine. And... I'm a big fan of this deck. It's actually very, very powerful. Arguably better than my Pepe Revolution deck that I showed you guys earlier. But Pepe Revolution will always stay close to my heart. Uh, this list over here uh, is just utilizing Revolution Dragon and the Luster Pendulum and the Vector Pendulum and just Dragons more so. If you guys remember my Pepe deck, the Dragon version did not have... Like, this version has LP. So LP obviously gets you out the Sloth. And because Electric is a card, you can search out Revolution Dragon easily. And because you're playing Sky Iris as well, you can basically search any combo that's going first easily. And it's arguably less bricky, bricky, because, bricky because you don't have to play the counter traps for Ariadne. So this is pretty cool over here. Uh, I am playing Triple Wild Hope because the fact that Luster Pendulum can search the Wild Hope uh, just gets you a free plus via the Curtain Razor. And it's very good for this deck to have a special extender. This version does not play Needle Fiber. My friend's version does. You can still pull out the combo extremely easily with Needle Fiber via Selene. And then you just go Selene, someone else on Appaloosa, and then go LP. So you still end on like a crazy board with this deck. Uh, there's lots of different variations of this deck, which is why I'm a fan of. If you guys want to see common tutorials of this deck, I can show you guys in the future. But the way that this, I look at this deck is every single turn, every single turn, especially because of the Performance Ball Sorcerer clearing up the scales, you always end up with Sloth, Leckery protected by different stuff depending on what you're... Typically, it'll be Sloth, Leckery, Appaloosa... And it'll depend on what the situation is, and like a Rafflesia or something, or like a Dweller. Uh, I am working to add a, like a tr uh, evenly match interruption there to stop evenly match because this stops spells and stops monsters uh, from being special summons. So all you really need is just to stop like uh, stuff that are not spells and monsters, like let's say like Imperm for example. So I'm working to add that to the list. I'm sure you can just play Savage Dragon and complete that with Harmonizing. But typically the uh, play is Harmonizing when the Time Star, Time Star gets Souls, get Jackal. So typically the end board is like Jackal, Sloth, Appaloosa, Leckery, and like uh, Rank 4. That's typically the end board. I'm uh, a big fan of this deck. Actually, it's very fun to play as well. So if you guys want to see counters, let me know. And the side deck is very important because uh, with the release of Droplet and Tactics Talent, you really don't need uh, hand traps. You really don't. Throw in triple Dark Roller, triple Tactics Talent, and triple uh, Dro Droplet, and a Dino Wrestler. You can clear basically any board. And they're kind of offensive as well. So, for example, if you're going to resolve your Sorcerer and then going to Imperm the Sorcerer, you just chain Droplet to negate the rest of their monster effects. And then the Sorcerer will resolve because it's no longer on the field. So Droplet helps your cards actually resolve. Tactic Talent is you draw cards. Literally, going second will always resolve. And Dark Ruler is Dark Ruler. So, going second will obviously help a lot. And I'm a big fan of the extra deck. Actually, also a very good. And the most important thing I want to mention is it plays around the Bureau. Uh, because you're playing Great Digger Trap Hole. So, because Dark Worm and Pen Call resolve a lot and because if, if it's not Dark Room Penko, Luster Searches with Wild Hope Searches, Curtain Razor, you're gonna get a rank 4 before anything. So most of the time you're gonna have a rank 4 in Rafflesia uh, to protect you from the mirror and then you're gonna go into the combo where you go Sloth Leckery and Sloth the Leckery protect, protected from hand traps is just ridiculous. And uh, yeah, that's the video. Hope you guys liked the video. Uh, if you guys love what you see, go check out my boy's channel down below. Check out, subscribe to my channel as well. Smash the like button. And if you guys love Pendulum, get a beautiful trip gaming playmat on tripgaming.com. Sign up for the Pendulum training down below to learn all about Pendulums. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Later, guys. Peace.